What's the fastest, easiest, and most convenient way to shop for a whole foods diet? Let's talk about it. Hey health heroes, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel about helping you improve your health naturally. And today I just want to talk about one simple thing, how to shop on a whole foods diet. Now this could be whole foods, whole 30, could be paleo, the autoimmune protocol, any elimination diet. So we're just going to start at the very basics, okay? First of all, I want to make sure that you understand that this can be done on a budget, can be done cheap, easy, and super convenient. I don't spend a lot of time in the grocery store, I know what exactly what I'm going to get and this is how I do it. So first of all, we start off at our protein because to me, protein is the most important thing on a whole foods diet. If you're just eating vegetables, you're not going to have enough calories to sustain you, especially if you want to do any kind of workouts. Um, I started this like calorie counting thing lately or at least limiting calories so um, I have to get enough meat in if I don't do that I'm too weak I can't even go out for a walk um, now this is like a guaranteed way to I mean Whole Foods I recommend for like health wise like for healthy lifestyle um, and obviously this is how I found remission but I think this is a great way to lose weight too because like every time I do this I guarantee lose weight I've lost like 20 pounds this last month just doing this just going out for a walk and eating like this so first of all I get my meat I went cheap right this is only 11 bucks for like I don't know how many pounds is this almost four pounds of chicken so that will last me let's say that'll last me about four or five days that's pretty good I want to say this is almost a week's worth of food and it costs $46.87. I also got some, I know this is gonna gross most people out, but liver, um, this is two and a half pounds of liver and it's only like almost three, not even three bucks, okay? This is a two meals worth of liver. I have to eat this every two weeks. Um, it helps create enzymes that break down certain um, things that we eat, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do that. Like histamines for me, it would cause all kinds of issues and if I don't eat that, I'm gonna have a bad week. So I have to do that, okay? I still do this to sustain myself. That's mainly for health purposes, but liver is actually fairly low calorie, um, fairly lean, very lean actually. Um, again, I am sticking with the lean meats this time. I do believe in good healthy fats on a whole foods diet, but for calorie purposes, um, if you do eat those fats, make sure it's like grass fed, you know, pastured, all that good stuff. Um, mainly grass fed beef is probably going to be your best bet or wild caught salmon, something like that. Now I sustain myself on potatoes, sweet potatoes. I don't eat regular potatoes. Yes, this is a lot. This is about five and a half pounds of sweet potatoes. The price went up to like 120, but usually it's like 98 cents per pound. Very cheap. Um, this makes a meal like to me, if I don't, if I have a sweet potato, I'm going to get full. I'm going to have, you know, and it has a lot of minerals in it. Like sweet potatoes are like strangely like nutrient dense for a vegetable right technically root is a vegetable um, I have to have these I love I prefer the white variety but in my small town they don't carry them but if you can find white sweet potatoes go for that check it out a little bit nutty more flavorful not as sweet perfect closer to like a russet potato or something like that maybe not as starchy because I've got the chicken and I've got the sweet potato I had to get some cauliflower rice so I've got one two three of these these are only like, I think these are two bucks per bag, a little more expensive than some of the other vegetables I got here. That is kind of pricey, but it makes a meal. Like it's awesome. I miss rice. And if I can't, if I don't get this cauliflower rice, I can't make um, sushi. So I like to get these like Ocean Halo Organic Sushi Nori Wraps. I, lo I don't know, I just, they're really good. Like I, I kind of make wraps on the, I don't like wrap it up and make the whole sushi thing. I cook the chicken, I cook the vegetables, whatever else I want to add in there. I make a little sauce from the sweet potatoes quite, a, quite often actually. Mix that kind of all together and then I just kind of like take one of these wraps out and I just kind of like, as I'm eating, I'll put it on there, wrap it up and eat it like that, almost like a lettuce wrap. Um, I, I don't complicate it. I don't spend an hour cooking my foods. 20 minutes tops is all my food. Like, you know, I bake, I mean, microwave it, guys. Microwave it. Again, these bags are steamable bags. I just go to the freezer section, super easy. Now, I, you might argue, hey, Adam, on a Whole Foods diet, you need to be staying in the produce section and all that. I mean, that's where I got the potatoes, right? But you know, that's that's a lot of extra time. And you're gonna argue, well, that's fresher, it's more nutritious, possibly, maybe, but most of these are, you know, flash frozen, you know, so they're keeping most of the nutrition, and you know, they're already cut up, they're, 
yes, it would be cheaper if you're buying in bulk and you're buying, you know, I guess fresh vegetables. But how fresh are those vegetables actually in the produce aisle? The, the, I don't think they're that fresh, honestly. Maybe it's just my small town, but I don't know. I, I feel much better when I'm eating, eating frozen fruits and vegetables. So that's what I do. And I've been doing it for five or six years now, and I feel great. Uh, I, I, I probably don't look great, but I feel great, okay? And, you know, again, if I'm sticking strictly to this specific low-calorie, autoimmune protocol, eliminated diet, paleo, whole foods, I do it kind of all one. It's mostly, like, low-carb as well, except for, like, the sweet potatoes. But I, I do limit my carbs, but I don't go crazy there. And if you're going just the whole foods, you shouldn't have to worry about that out of the gate. Uh, you shouldn't worry about anything, but just be more concerned with, again, your protein. That's going to be your big calorie hit there. That's what you should be concerned about uh, mostly. I'm eating one chicken breast per meal. That's not a lot, especially at my size. But, again, the calories, and it works. And if you're walking or you're doing some sort of exercise, that's actually going to keep you from getting too hungry as well. So I recommend, you know, like if you're eating a whole foods diet, you know, it's part of a lifestyle. Get out there, do something, or do something in your house. It's not that hard to do something. You know, do push-ups or something in your house. Whatever you can do is great. Anything is better than nothing. So then, I got to admit, I have not been a fan of Brussels sprouts a lot in the past, but I'm starting to come around a little bit. They're super hard to digest for me though, so I have to really, really cook them. Like it says they cook in what, like six minutes in the microwave, but I cook them for like 10 minutes because it softens them up a little bit more, a little bit easier to digest. I do that with all my vegetables. If you have autoimmune issues like I have, um, that might be something you want to incorporate. But I like these. They're only $1.20 per bag, which is very, very cheap. And they're very filling. Lots of fiber. Very low calorie. 35 calories per serving. Four servings in a bag. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll eat the whole bag. Let's be honest. Like, I'll eat that. Sweet potato. Uh, chicken. Maybe I'll add some lettuce to that. And that'll be it. Like... I, I like to keep my meals extremely simple, and I really recommend that you do that too. On a whole foods diet, don't worry about, oh, I want to make something fancy. I want to make this look like spaghetti or a hamburger or whatever, cheeseburger, you know, like taking all the foods and then making it into something. You don't worry about that. Just like put some things on a plate and eat it. Like don't worry about naming it. It doesn't have to be a classic, traditional, conventional meal. That's what got you in this situation in the first place that made you want to reach out into a whole foods diet, right? Or try some different things. So after that, I decide, I found this. I don't think my Walmart carried this before, but this is a zucchini blend, green and yellow. I have been enjoying them a little bit lately, and I, I cannot eat them fresh for some reason. I can't eat them from the produce aisle. I don't know if it's the wax on the rind on the outside. You know, certain things are waxed. I don't know. Uh, I must be intolerant to that, but I can eat this. And again, I do, you know, cook the heck out of it. Um, it's just easier to digest because of lectins. Uh, zucchini is in the squash family. Keep that in mind. I do limit something like that. Anything in the squash, pumpkin family, you know, just something I have to do. I love spaghetti squash. And you can put a whole fresh spaghetti squash in the microwave and cook it for, I think it's like 10 minutes, and it'll steam inside of itself. But I will want to end up, you know, cooking that whole spaghetti squash, and that's just way too many lectins for me. So keep that in mind. It, you know, just because it's a vegetable doesn't mean it's healthy for absolutely everyone, right? Everyone has their own specific intolerances. And if you're on a whole foods diet, you know, you're going to want to add more whole foods in to, like, I don't know, give it some flavor, right? You know, give it something. I only add salt to my food now, and I, I just don't go crazy with the flavor. When you're doing this for so long, like I've been doing, your taste buds will change, I promise. You'll start to enjoy this more. Things will be more flavorful, more intense. It does take time. Um, some, like, people eating a natural, you know, well, natural, not natural, but like a conventional, you know, let's say the standard American diet, they aren't going to think this is enjoyable. We're not doing this for them, right? We're doing this for health or weight or whatever your reasons are. You just want to, you know, live a better, cleaner, or more minimalist life, you could say. I am also a minimalist. So what else do I got down here? Okay, I've got a couple carrots, sliced carrots. These are only actually like 80 cents per bag, which is crazy. I do make my orange sauce out of this. And, okay, I know I said I don't make like traditional meals, but I do make a spaghetti from like broccoli slaw. And I make the orange sauce with that. I made a video about that. Really good stuff. You can do all kinds of fun stuff if you want to. But I used to do that way more when I started, like, you know, so many years ago. Now I don't really bother. But I still like sauces. I'm a sauce boss. What can I say? It makes, like, if you put a good sauce on anything, it'll, like, turn into, like, an awesome meal. That's my opinion. Sauce makes the meal. I also got some broccoli florets. These are cheap. I think these are, like, 80, 90 cents. 
Um, no, these are a dollar. I tried something new today, butternut squash. I have not had this in a long time, but I remember trying a butternut squash puree, and it, I'm gonna try to do that. And these things are super cheap, guys. A dollar per bag of some of this stuff. Yes, you can absolutely make it cheaper if I bought a whole butternut squash, but have you ever tried to cut up a butternut squash? It's incredibly difficult and ext extremely frustrating, and I, I just the thought of it makes me not want to eat a Whole Foods diet. So if this helps you keep sustainable and consistent on this Whole Food diet, by all means, do this. I've always treated myself. Sometimes I go without, but honestly, I kind of need that little touch of just sweetness at the end of the day. It really helps me. My go-to is blackberries. These are like $2.68 per bag for a pound of blackberries, which is not bad. Again, frozen is going to be cheaper than, you know, like fresh usually. And, you know, usually just as nutritious. So, blackberries are my go-to. I like those. Sometimes I do, um, again, cranberries or raspberries. They're all very low sugar. That's going to be great, especially if you have any, like, sugar res uh, insulin resistant issues. Um, I fixed mine. I showed you how I um, fixed my hypoglycemia. Cured it. Have not had issues since. Six years, I guess. I don't know. It's been a long time. I do get mango chunks. I go easy on these because, you know, they're higher in sugar than some other things, but I do well with mango. There's some things that I don't do well with that are higher in sugar, like cherries. Um, I try to do organic on cherries because, uh, see, I, what is it? The dirty dozen where they're like a little bit higher in pesticides. And this is, guys, a week's worth of groceries. Mostly, I may have to get some more chicken, so I may spend another 10 bucks, whatever. Actually, I have some left over, and again, I have some lettuce, but I don't add any oils, okay? I don't add any fat to this. I'm fat enough. Like, my body, you're, if you're thinking, like, you need healthy fats, especially if you're doing, like, a lower carb or even keto, oh, God, you know, nobody get upset at that, but, like, if you're doing something like that, you're going to need fats in your diet, right? Well, yes, mostly, if you're, like, let's say you're at a good healthy weight, but me, I've got plenty of fat on these bones, so I'm good. If I got down to a lower weight, like say my goal weight, I would certainly add some fats in. And then what would I have to do? I would have to cut back on some of this, right? Uh, well, actually, I probably wouldn't have to cut back. I should actually be eating a little bit more. I, I would be fine eating two chicken breasts per meal. That, that would not be an issue. But right now, like when I get started, I'm kind of like a black or white kind of guy. Like I, I'm all in or all out. So I'm seeing what happens and it's working again. So I kind of like speedy weight loss when I'm doing that. Um, probably not the best. Take it slow. Um, you can give yourself like, you know, thyroid or adrenal gland issues and, and all kinds of issues if you're doing that. Um, again, I don't recommend like anything like a caffeine, especially when you're doing a whole foods diet or anything like that. I Oh, yeah, I stick strictly to water. I get um, natural spring water. Now, you could argue, Adam, you could do better. You could get it in a glass jar. Absolutely. So, I appreciate you watching. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm going to be try to be more consistent with this. Who knows, though? Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm going, you know, everyone goes through their own personal stuff, and I have my own personal reasons for that. You can just trust that. But I will see you soon, hopefully. Thanks for watching. See you next time.